ministry. Our calling is to share the good news of God's love worldwide. We do it through many, many ways, to ministering, preaching, helping, and practical help. This message has been recorded especially for you and for you and for you. And the purpose is for you to be blessed by them. Listen, share it, and write your comments. We like to know how you think and what you feel about them. How they've been a blessing to you. Bye bye. It's John Akim. Show my day of Our focus today is lead us to the temptation but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forevermore. That's the prayer. Okay. So, first thing I said is that everyone is subject to temptation. Jesus himself was subject to temptation when he fasted in the wilderness led into the wilderness by the Spirit of God, but Satan followed him too, to tempt him. But he did not fall. And because Jesus did not fall, our Lord and Savior did not fall, you and I will not fall. No matter what temptation that the enemy brings or preparing or cooking up, we have already overcome because our Lord Jesus Christ overcame every temptation. And every plans, evil plans against us, the Lord himself had delivered us by the virtue of the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. He said, it's finished. It's finished. So we got to work them out. God has given us a wonderful authority as his child. Authority. Authority over the power of darkness is given us. For those who follow him completely, they have the authority over all power of the devil. And so the problem is not that the power is not there or the authority is not there. The problem, in my own humble opinion, is that sometimes we don't understand that we have the authority. We do not understand that with that authority. And if we think we understand, we do not know how to use that authority in prayer. Now, faith comes first. Because from faith, when that thing sinks in, that it doesn't matter what the enemy has done to us or planned to do to us, that we already overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, Revelation 12, 11. It's one of my favorite a verse and I keep on repeating him because it tells me when the battle comes, when the enemy is trying to raise his head, I know and I start from that point that I already overcome him. And because I'm an overcomer, I can go through those battles knowing that I'm coming out to the end and I'm overcomer. Uh, everything that the enemy is throwing at you and I, you overcome them in the name of Jesus. Uh, no matter what, spiritually, physically, financially, we overcome them. We overcome them. And it says, all power and authority have been given unto us. Right? And so that power, we need to recognize it. May the Lord open our eyes, uh, may we open our mind, our spirit, to have that spirit of recognition that, uh, that uh, we have the absolute authority over all this entity. Over all this entity. Then, let's look at the Bible. It said, then he called his 12 disciples together and he gave them the power and authority. Who called them? Jesus. He called his disciples. All of them. He gave them. All the twelve. He gave them the power and authority. Power and authority over who? Over the devils. All devils. All devils. All demons. All principalities. 
Mm. All sorcerers. And this power also to cure disease, to bring deliverance. Are we all moving in it? Not necessarily so. Because we are no superhuman, it gives people different area. But generally, they have the power and dominion over the devil. But some people focus on healing, some people focus on deliverance, some people focus on blessing, some people focus on favor, some people focus on love, on joy, on peace, whatever you focus in, you still have the trapping of all the others. So this, and it says, when he called them and he gave them the power and authority over the devil and to cure disease, then he sent them to preach the kingdom of God. So what should our the preaching be? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. That's what John the Baptist preached. The kingdom of God is at hand. That's what Jesus uh, taught when he moved around and when he was preaching. And also to heal the sick. And that Luke chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. It's something that we all need to remember. It's something I need to remember. All right? May the Lord grant us the grace to be able to walk out and enter fully into this power, this authority over everything. Demon, power, sickness, disease, uh, the habitation of uh, the power of darkness and all the, uh, the, the family deity and those familiar spirit and everything that try to ruin ruin them uh the, the 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 destiny of mankind and i'm talking to all of us here including myself may we be able to enter fully into that which god has called us into may we have the spiritual recognition to recognize all that uh, all that he has given to us so that we can move in it Moses did not recognize uh, that the rod in his hand can do wonder until the Lord told him, stretch forth that rod. And he parted the sea. But before then, <clears throat> it's already realized because that same rod turned to a snake and swallow the magician uh, uh, snake. Because they try to duplicate counterfeit of what God is doing. So God showing his supremacy, he allowed Moses to swallow them, showing that, well, look, you may come up with, you try to duplicate, but uh, there's a supreme power uh, uh, somewhere. And that supreme power belongs to the Lord. Uh, and that same supreme power he has given to us. So for us, who are yet to activate it, Father Lord, today we pray, Father Lord, that uh, we will have uh, the dominion and the power, the recognition, uh, the, the grace to activate them and begin to walk in it, in the name of Jesus. So that sickness, disease, demon, and all the power of darkness will not have uh, dominion over us. We need that grace. Every man of God need that grace. Every man of God, the woman of God need that power. Uh, who, who is a man of God? Uh, who is a woman of God? It doesn't mean you are a pastor. It doesn't mean you carry as a child of God uh, and you are walking in the fullness of God's uh, provisions. You are following his precept. You are completely following him. You are man and woman of God. You are a child of God. You are sons and daughters of Jehovah. And uh, those ones carry the power. It is not a title. It is just about your, do domain, your dedication unto him. And also the gift and the plan to give to everyone. Some have the gift of, uh, of knowledge, word of knowledge. <clears throat> Some have revelation, prophetic gift. Some, some are great teacher. Some are great evangelist. And sometimes we convert what we, what the other one wants. Yes, the Bible has us to convert uh, all good gifts, but we must fully walk in ours. 
fully walk in the one that he has given to us uh, and so that uh, we are making the absolute more than 100 percent use of that gift uh, and uh, other ones begin to come because uh, jesus has demonstrated uh, uh, through the parable you see uh, if you use the gift that's been given to you you do not bury it in the ground more will be given to you Father, the little that we have been using, Father, let more grace come upon us. More grace, more grace, more grace, more grace in the name of Jesus. You may experience victory over the devil every day by mentally putting on the hammer of God. Hmm. Mentally putting on the arm of God. So it doesn't mean that you have to physically put it. You know the word about arm of God and you pick it up every day. Father, today I put on the full arm of God. Hmm. Yeah, for, for, for protection. And I use the sword of the spirit as my offensive weapon against all the all the all the power of the enemy. And I have the protection of God because he said he put a hedge of protection around me, around my household, everything concerning me, that the enemy will not be able to penetrate. And I walk in dominion and in power in the name of Jesus. I need that power. You need that power. I am asking that the Lord, because he said when we ask for good things, you will not withhold it from us. Yes, you will not give us snake instead of fish. So we are asking for that release of that mighty power, that the power of the world will not be able to overcome. The Bible says, put on the whole arm of God. He says, yes, yes, but ye, put on ye, Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh. To fulfill the lost year of uh, Romans 13 verse 14. You may have all the hammer. You may have all the power. Uh, but the flesh and the loss of the world uh, can, uh, can, uh, can sidetrack, can limit uh, uh, how much that power operates in your life. May that power begin to operate. Uh, may the power, may we have power over lust. Uh, may we have power over the flesh. Uh, because the flesh is terrible. The flesh, uh, when it speaks louder, it can make you to do things you're not supposed to be doing. But uh, today, uh, receive the power, receive the grace uh, to fulfill the plans of God, to master dominion, it says all power and authority have been given to you and I uh, to be able to master the, and dom dominate uh, all power of darkness. Father, hmm, you are a great God, a mighty one, a Jehovah. What is there that you cannot do? Uh, as uh, as uh, that, that child of God. That minister of God uh, that says what God cannot do does not exist. Uh, we affirm it. There is nothing God cannot do. What you cannot do does not exist because you are the creator of everything in the first place. So you can do all things. Uh, 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 so also we can do all things with Christ that strengthens us. So that's what I'm asking for. That the Lord himself will strengthen us. Uh, the Lord himself will strengthen our mind. The Lord himself will strengthen our hand. The Lord himself will strengthen our spirit. Uh, the Lord himself will strengthen our soul. Uh, the Lord himself will strengthen everything and everyone around us. So that we can operate in that power, in that authority that Jesus has given to us. It says all power and authority has been given to us. And so we walk in that power and authority. Father Lord, we thank you because the power and authority you've given to us, according to Luke 9, verse 1 to 2, we want to see his manifestation now. We want to see his manifestation now. Those who are waiting for us to manifest, that they will not have to wait longer. 
that your grace and your glory will come upon us. Uh, and where we have allowed uh, the pull of the flesh and the lust uh, uh, to, to, to limit our power in our life. Uh, Father, Lord, we are for your mercy. 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 Mercy. Let mercy triumph over every form of judgment. And thank you because you always hear us. You always answer us. And so we may experience fear and, uh, victory over the devil every day every day we want to uh, exercise that victory but every day by putting on that armor of god and your edge of protection around us the wall of fire the blood of jesus and and also our offensive weapon because if you just play defense by the time they ravage you, ravage you, they weaken you. You must uh, go out there and fight uh, and take the battle uh, onto the enemy so that they know that uh, hmm, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Uh, that you carry the full power of Jehovah in you. And that's what I need to do, that's what you need to do. So today, today, as a child of God, we put on that that uh, that whole arm of god uh, in the name of jesus uh, you put that whole arm of god and the bible tells us again that even when you put it on satan has had practice for many years thousands of years he still know how to how to try and defeat us i remember one person who said to me in conversation I'm sure she was trying to pass on, it's an old person trying to pass on the message to me, that they know how to take down the powerful one. Uh, the people with power, they know how to take down the people with power. She's sending a coded message to me, and I hear, and I get quiet. Mm. And I say, well, Lord, they are continuing to reveal themselves. Eh, that's another one that's revealed themselves. So I know what I'm dealing with. You know, so we have victory in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6 14 to 17, it says, Stand therefore. That's what we have to do. Once we put on the whole armor of God, once we take on our sword of the Spirit. Our offensive weapon, the word of God, uh, then we need to stand. So Ephesians 6, uh, 14 to 17, put it this way. Stand therefore, having your loin gut about with truth. So got your loin with truth. Uh, so you cannot win against the enemy if you don't operate in the truth. Uh, the truth is like the light of God. Uh, and the uh, light comes, uh, darkness disappears. So you must operate in truth. And then, and then, having done that, he said, that, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So, breastplate of righteousness is a requirement. A righteousness of God, the holiness, the truth, righteousness. You cannot make yourself righteous. What the Bible has called us the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Your feet short with the preparation of gospel of peace. Uh, prepare, prepare to declare the word of God uh, to whoever come uh, around you. The gospel of peace, uh, the gospel of peace. Uh, you must be a man and a woman of peace, not a person of war all the time. Yes, you have the power, but you, you entertain restraint. Above all, taking the shield of faith, taking the shield of faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, according to the word of God in Hebrew 11. Uh, you cannot please God. Uh, yes, without faith. That will be a word for another time. Because uh, it just reminded me that I need to, I need to do something on faith. May the Lord grant me the faith to be able to do it so that when it comes, it flows. Faith, Hebrew 11. Right, so 
where we are, we shall be able to quench all fairy dirts. So it is the faith that we have in Christ Jesus, uh, the power that is given us all, well, and authority is given to us, uh, that we'll be able to use that by faith, using the word of God, knowing that every fairy dirt that comes our way will be quenched. Today, every arrows, uh, every fetters, uh, every dirt, uh, wherever it's coming from, from satanic projection, the money projection uh, coming from the pit of hell. Today, uh, we exercise our faith, uh, we exercise our faith uh, to quench those things uh, and we command uh, those that, uh, those arrows, uh, those fetters, uh, we command them um, to ricochet and go back to his sender, back to 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 sender. We will not be a victim, but we are a victor already because I started by saying we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We do not fear our life unto death, Revelation 12, 11. And because we do not fear our, our life unto death, it's a result of faith. Uh, faith is developed. Sometimes our faith is developed in uh, making money. Uh, sometimes our faith is developed in getting a good job. Sometimes our faith is developed in healing and, and, and we lack faith in deliverance. Oh, <laughs> Father Lord, let our faith help us, help us, help us with our limited faith uh, to be able to walk all around, uh, that to be able to do as occasion demand, uh, whatever it is that's brought to us, uh, uh, we, will not sh we, will, we, will, we will not shy away, uh, that we have the faith uh, to move mountains. Uh, Father Lord, uh, that is what your word says uh, that we require. Uh, Father Lord, uh, yes, uh, it also talks about faith like a monster seed, uh, faith to speak to the mountain and say, be moved. Uh, Father Lord, uh, let it begin to operate in us uh, because without faith uh, we cannot please you. And he continues, he says, and take the element of salvation. Hmm. When you wear the element of salvation, uh, you are protected by him because you are doing the things that make the heaven happy. He said that when uh, even one person uh, uh, come to the kingdom of God uh, and uh, accept Jesus uh, as Lord and Savior and being born again, uh, the heaven rejoice uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, hell they cry because uh, they have lost one person. I pray today, uh, every hold that hell has upon you and I, uh, I said they lose, they lose now because uh, you and I have been taken away from their grip. Every area of our life uh, that the enemy has, uh, has put a grip on, uh, I said today we declare freedom, we declare liberty because uh, even the captive of the terrible shall be delivered. And he continues, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Ephesians 6, 14 to 17. So, how do we stand? We stand when we put on the whole arm of God. Then we stand, no shaking. Doesn't matter what you throw at me, no shaking because I know I already have victory. Ah, ah, ah. I may be, I may be using my defensive, but now I'm ready to shoot with my arrow. I'm ready to shoot with the word of God. I'm ready to direct. <clears throat> Ah, the word of God, uh, like a spear towards uh, the heart uh, of uh, of uh, the demons, uh, the power, the evil priests, uh, and everything that trying to that trying to disturb us uh, from entering uh, our destiny and taking and appropriating all that God has prepared for us. Father Lord, we ask honestly, not as a showboat, because you know me, I do not do showboat. We ask genuinely because we know we need, we need all this power and authority. We need all this fullness. We need the grace to move mountains. We are asking not just for us, 
sir. But to be to use it for others, sir. Because there are people lying on us, sir. We ask uh, on behalf of our family, on behalf of our household uh, and family to be delivered from the clutches of the enemy. And so that everyone uh, begin to fulfill their destiny. That is uh, why we ask. Uh, we ask that nation uh, that are waiting for us, uh, when they see us, uh, they will not be disappointed because your power and your authority uh, has gone ahead uh, and uh, the demon, the power that want to wage war against us, uh, they begin to crumble because we bind their power, we destroy their work uh, and all their deities uh, after the order of uh, uh, um, Prophet Elijah, he totally through the doing of the of the Lord, uh, deactivate uh, all the powers and the deities uh, of the uh, forty prophet, for, for prophet prophet of Baal. They are all. They were all all taken down. None of them escape. Father, we give you praise because uh, that kind of power that he has. That kind of faith he has. And to boast in your word, to boast in your power, to face all those uh, uh, from the prophet of Baal. Yes, those ones, uh, that power hmm, is a power that we require uh, today and in this world where there's all springing up uh, of all kind of uh, denominations of power darkness. Uh, they're just shooting up from the young ones to the older. They're shooting up uh, and sometimes they disguise themselves. They don't know, you don't know. Father Lord, give us an eye that see, uh, hears that hear, how that perceive, uh, that we will have discernment. Uh, we will to discern the people who come across us, uh, Father Lord, uh, so that they cannot trick us. Uh, Ah, into their claw. Hmm. They say, but today we pray for that edge of protection around us. We pray for that edge of protection around our family. We pray for that edge of protection around our household, our children, our Lord, your wives, your, your husband, and your children. Pray, pray for that edge of protection. Let the Lord be that edge of protection. Father Lord, prayer, prayer, prayer is a source of power that moves mountain. Behold, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, the habitation. Therefore, no evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling places. Psalm 91, verse 9 to 10. That is talking about uh, protection of God. Because you have made the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is our refuge. Yes, that we are hidden in Him, we are protected by Him. The Most High is our habitation. And so, when the evil comes, when the devil comes, when the, the, the priest comes, when they are consulting the idol, they will be told that touch no man, not to do my prophet no harm. But if they insist on finding a way, they just find out the word of God in Psalm 91 is not just there for nothing. He said no evil will befall you and I. No evil will befall our, our, our spouse. No evil will befall our children. No evil will befall our loved ones. No evil will befall our prayers partners and people who are rooting for us because because we are hidden in him neither shall any plague there shall be no plague coming our dwelling places no plague they said it means even if it's going around even if the agent of death is going around it shall not come our dwelling places we sign post the blood upon our individual the individual heart, the blood of Jesus, we impose on individual heart, in our forehead, in our being. 
Yes, uh, invisible blood of Jesus is on it. Ah, yeah, for us, not, 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 not visible to the naked eye, but it's signposted. Yeah. Uh, so when the enemy comes, uh, wherever we are, my roche, they will pass over. It signposted the blood uh, upon our home, uh, respective home, uh, blood of Jesus. Uh, that's what they have, uh, the, the, the children of God. Uh, uh, this, uh, that's what they have to do in Egypt uh, so that uh, the disaster that is coming. Uh, that's coming now. Uh, that's coming to kill all the firstborn now. Uh, will not take, they will not partake in it. Father Lord, every disaster that has been uh, put in motion uh, to come round uh, and to take, uh, to take uh, the lives uh, prematurely of people. Uh, Father Lord, uh, as we sample our own hearts, we sample our property and everything that belongs to us, uh, including cars, houses, whatever it is, uh, we sample it with the blood. Uh, he said that uh, when they see the blood, they will pass over. Even because of us, our presence, even our neighbors and the people around us, I said that the agent of death will pass over until the people who are older and it's time for them to go. There shall be no premature death. There shall be no premature death. Follow that in us, in our children, in our loved ones, in our family, no premature death as we signpost everyone and we pour out that same blood upon the ground of our home, of our home, whatever has been done in that place that we do not know. Let the blood begin to destroy them. We sent angels and assignment to exhume everything that belongs to us that has been buried down. Everything that they buried down to cause a problem. Every chant that is speaking evil. We sent angel, mighty angel, locate, locate, exhume and destroy. Locate exhume and destroy every sham every sham in any in 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 any coven in any meeting place in any altar makaba shakaraba shakata that is reign against us against our health against our finances against our joy our peace our job our business against our ministry makasho koreba sataria alia sotoria let the blood the blood of jesus destroy you everything and those who want to forcefully occupy that which belong to us uh, don't, don't want to give up uh, by fire by force uh, we fire them now we fire them by fire by force uh, by fire by force uh, they shall release uh, release uh, release uh, that which belong to me. I don't want yours. Uh, just release that which belong to me. Release that which belong to my children. Uh, believe, release that which, that which belong to my wife. Uh, believe that which belong to my loved ones. Uh, everything that you are sat upon. Uh, you, you put to death. Uh, we speak power resurrection uh, to come upon it now. Allah uh, Shakara, come back to life. Come back to life. And now begin to move. Move with supersonic speed. Uh, follow that. There's uh, all those years. Uh, uh, the you now put those blessings and put them together. Put them together. They come in multiple in multiplication. In addition, they come. They come in the multiplier and they come. They will find us. They will reach us. No one people to hijack it. I'm a low shakaraba And then people will know. Yes, this one is definitely of the Lord. My little shakara. Thank you, Father Lord, for healing us. Thank you for deliverance. He said that the time will come. Heal me that I may be healed. Save me that I may be saved. Deliver me that I may be delivered. Every area that needs your touch, divine touch. Father Lord, we ask that you, you uh, let, let it, let it, let it, let it be dealt with it today. Sorted out today, yeah. So that we shall have a reason to testify to your glory, to praise your name. Father Lord, thank you, Father Lord. As your light shine and darkness disappear. Why? Because for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. He continues. He said, your time of prayer is now coming full cycle. You began by praise to God. Praising is redemptive work in your life. Now you return to praise to God. So it's like a sandwich. You know, when you have a feedback sandwich, you start with good things, uh, praise, 
and you say all other things that you need to say and things that need to be changed, even better if when you give me that feedback now, there are things that, that can be improved and then we pray that all the things that we can improve and now we end with praise. And I will praise you Lord. We will honor you Lord. We magnify your name. And so, we now return to praise to God, recognizing an eternal kingdom, eternal power, eternal glory, eternal it means forever, 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 everlasting to everlasting belongs to Him. No other power it belongs to Him. That eternal power belongs to Him. How wonderful that He has chosen us as His children to share in His kingdom. Hallelujah. His authority has been given to us, and even His glory is giving us His kingdom, His authority, and His glory. Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for we are privileged, honored to be one that you have chosen to bear your name as your children, and uh, and uh, you trust it with your power, and you trust it with your authority, you trust it with your word to be to cancel others uh, and to bring people uh, to the knowledge of God, Father Lord, as a representative and ambassador of the Most High, Father Lord, that we will not fall or falter because our Lord did not fall for all the temptation, uh, but he rose. He used the word, the sword of the spirit, against everything that the enemy has planned to do in your life, in my life. We are victorious. I see it and fall like lightning. They fall like lightning. Every plan fall like lightning. Every plan dissolve. Every plan destroy. And everything, everything they try to do, they are frustrated. You frustrate their hand. They cannot carry out their enterprise. You call you frustrate the hand of that native doctor, the hand of that babalawo, the hand of that precious priest. Even those one who call themselves, uh, whether whether they call themselves. Uh, pastors or they call themselves uh, Allah for whatever it is that they call themselves uh, I that but they are not uh, because they are mixing things uh, frustrate their hand uh, frustrate their hand uh, frustrate their hand uh, and let their evil power blow upon their face let the ricochet back uh, onto them uh, but for us uh, we shall continue to praise you you say follow you are how far your omega you are the first you are the last you are the beginning you are the end there is no one like you and no one compared to you we bless your name we glorify your name we honor you lord we honor you lord we honor you lord we honor you lord father today we say father lord we say and we declare with our mouth we are prepared to make power to make power prayer our priority prayer our power Authority. In the morning, when we wake up, when we go, when we go out, uh, even when we are at work, uh, when we are in our business, uh, when we come home, we will recognize that uh, you alone uh, is our sustenance. Uh, as we cocoon ourselves uh, in your presence, uh, thank you for our Lord. Uh, thank you for our Lord. Uh, thank you for our Lord. Because you have done it. Uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, in Jesus Christ mighty name we are praying mm -hmm. and so we end this thing that says and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil thank you for delivering us sir. thank you father lord uh, for starting with us and finishing the, uh, with us uh. so next time we are going to work on another topic here uh, as the lord leads. thank you bless you wonderful jehovah Thank you for listening, and as you share, and as you like, as you make comments, as you take this word into places beyond where I could ever get into, we bless your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Ministry, our calling is to share the good news of God's love worldwide. We do it through many, many ways, to ministering, preaching, helping, and practical help. 
This message has been recorded specially for you and for you and for you. And the purpose is for you to be blessed by them. Listen, share it, and write your comments. We like to know how you think and what you feel about them. How they've been a blessing to you. Bye bye. It's John Akim. Show my day of a capital ministry. Bye.